Hello everyone, my name is Master Starman and welcome back for more Let's Play Ukulele. Last time we started up in the Capital Casino and uh, visited Rextro and kind of not enjoyed that. I mean, I usually don't enjoy the Rextro stuff too much to begin with, but like, this minigame was just actual kind of BS as opposed to just like, so average and uninspired. But anyways... Last time, I did notice this over here. What do you have to say? Oi, oh, Nikov, I need some help for something much stronger than you. Um, I'm guessing this is for, like, the transformation, I guess, then? Okay, I see some stuff in here. Ah, oh, great, these stupid eye things are taking form of dice blocks this time, and... You know, I gotta say, I actually do kind of like that this world does feel like a little bit of a callback to, um... Frank Factory a little bit, which I do kind of appreciate. What do you have to say, also? Hey, don't mind, peasant, I'm on, uh, Official night business and need no help from a common lizard. I see. What is this gonna get me here? I don't really want to be doing these stupid slot machines all the freaking time here, but they might be useful here. I get the timing what I'm supposed to do. It's it, This reminds me a lot of there's a, a slot machine minigame in DK64, and that was heavily screwed up there. Of course, I get Yuka then. That's what this kind of reminds me of. Although, I, I miss that where I could just... It's literally just pressing the A button rather than... Coincidentally, that first one you have to time around the banana there. God, why am I missing the... Okay, I guess I have to be a little earlier on the second one there just because the speed of it. That's what's throwing me off there. What's the last one? Banana again. Nice. Oh, no, that's for the molly cool. So I am going to have to do that for the significant stuff in this world, really. Um, I see Dr. Puzz over there. I was kind of wanting to just kind of explore a little bit of this at least, but if it is going to want me to use the transformation, I might... Oh no, there's a freaking five. Oh shoot. Man, this is kind of annoying here. I need my thing back. Damn it. Oh, this is annoying. This is gonna be very annoying. Although, I guess if I went into first person, it might not be so bad there. Nice, got it. You know, I have another ability that can do almost the same thing. Why can't I just use that? Why is that not good enough for that there? Oh, come on! Freaking enemies just respawning infinitely, really? Oh my... <sighs> These guys know where I am here. <sighs> this is dumb here. Am I just not supposed to deal with those guys? I'm probably not, actually. Or the laser can chase me regard... Oh, come on, really? Really? 
Well, actually, I kind of have a theory behind something. Oh, you know what? I don't have a theory behind needing to do this garbage here. Uh, what is this going to be here? Come on! Can you not just scroll that banana up one small smidge there? Because I unintentionally got Yuka on the last one too, which I wasn't intending. Okay, it's after banana here again. Nice! Oh, thank god. That is a lot of coins there. You know what? I have I have a theory about magic. You see, something something. If magic is all we ever known, let me show something. What really goes on? I'm literally resorting now to quoting insane clown posse lyrics. Can this stream get stream? No. Can this video get any freaking weirder? Yeah, it's about it's about as normal as half my streams kind of tend to go, but. Okay, I'm theorizing that I'm gonna get like some sort of knight in shining armor here. I'll need to talk to you first here. If I had to guess, that big laser around Doc, I thought you were scaled down by now. Indeed, there's still plenty of work to be done, and that awful capital B remains at large. Speaking of which, I made a big breakthrough with my incredible. Yep. Yes, I have found a molecule. Or I could get a helicopter. That's not how it looked in the manual. To fly the chopper, use B to give him zeal to descend. Careful with Y, though. Fires deadly missiles. Okay. You know, I was also kind of getting a small Logbox 720 vibes from Nuts and Bolts here. I wouldn't actually be opposed to having a helicopter for a level like this, though. That's kind of what this reminds me of, except not as good, I'd argue. Oh, there's a sneaky spirit there. Can I use this to attack these out of order? Here. Yes, I can. Oh, hello. Gives you a lot of those things there. And can these guys, like, kindly piss off here? That makes some sense as to what I'm supposed to do with those now. I'm not gonna lie, this chopper, like, it doesn't control as bad as the fish, but it does kind of feel a little awkward to control in some ways. It doesn't really turn very well, and I know for a helicopter that is a thing, but... I don't know, even... I'm gonna say something sacrilege here. Uh, the choppers and nuts and bolts control better than this thing does. And I also can't go into first person here, really? It seems very... Odd why I wouldn't be able to go into first person there. Okay, so we have a number of coins here. I'm not, I'm not sure how many pages are gotten from coins, so that's something that does kind of worry me a little bit. And also, this feels like a place I should be able to come back to with just normal Yuka and Lele later. Anyways, let's go see what those choppers wanted there. Or the 
my choppers the knights wanted rather by that i mean i'm heading up towards this dang oh i see where ricardo is here oh that's one of the working ones shoot here's a broken one Cardo in this world is probably going to be a nightmare if I had to assume. This is, this does give a good, like, overview of the world, though, which I do kind of like a little bit, just kind of seeing. Because I wasn't really sure kind of how they would flesh out, like, a casino world here, but... Because other worlds in this game can be pretty damn massive, and I guess the answer to that is, hello, I'll take this. I just wish it didn't slow to a crawl if I had to, excuse me, make a turn, but I guess that's accurate to helicopters IRL. Yeah, I feel like this is something that pretty much needed the helicopter to get to. Sure, I look forward to this junk, whatever. Oh, I see we got golf here. Oh god, getting now I'm just officially getting nuts and bolts flashbacks from this crap here. There's a lot of things up there, and also that's a I don't know that's a casino token there. Let's grab some of these things here while I'm in the area. I don't see any other way how I'm supposed to get this junk here, so. That transformed me back to Yuka and... Where the fudge am I? And why did that transform me back here? Where... Where the hell is this? Actually, wait, hold on. I can do this. Here, this will make this... This will make exploring a lot easier, at least. Um, hmm. Well, I'm missing some stuff in the air there. I'm gonna try and make my way... Once I get everything down here, I'm gonna try and make my way back to Puzz there, and... I, I might actually call it a video, because it is kind of getting a little lengthy. I know this one was a little bit aimless, but... We do have a lot of these tokens, and when you think that each... Every ten of them is a... Uh, pagey there, that isn't actually that bad of progress. Um, usually when I play games like this, or Battle for Bikini Bottom, or, or Mario Sunshine or Battle for Bikini Bottom, games that have similar, collect 10 of this collectible, get one shiny trinket. Um, usually I like kind of trying to go for everything before I trade everything in. And the thing is, I don't know how many of these tokens are actually here, so... Or even if it's a normal or rigged thing or not. Um, hmm... So yeah, next time on Ukulele, I think we might uh, transform back and actually see if we can do some stuff with the helicopter proper this time. And okay, this is kind of where we're at. So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys for that then. Peace out.